Hey guys, what is up? Don't want to here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my Xbox 360 first time virus guide. Um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please let me know. I will do more if I can. Um, because I have like Super Nintendo, I have the Mega Drive, I have a Dreamcast, but I don't have much game for that. Um, I had the PS3 as well. Um, I like a couple of consoles, what you can't do it for. So, if you guys would like to see that, please let me know. Um, I'm sure Private Mittens would like to do some as well because he has a lot of different tastes from what I do, and he would recommend a lot of different games from what I do. So, if you guys want to see him do one as well, let us know. Anyways, the 7th gen, I hope it's the 7th gen getting us right it's been over for like quite a while so a lot of fans of the xbox 360 crowd are now going back and ban a ps3 and vice versa with the ps3 fans ban xbox 360 not because they are under a hundred pound or a hundred dollars or how much we are charging dollars um and you can't get them very very cheap now so they're going back and experiencing a lot of games that they missed, like Gears and uh, Alan Wake and Dead Rising and PGR and Forza. Um, so this is just going to be my um, little guide to people who want to buy Xbox 360 for the first time and some games they might want to recommend. Uh, well, I recommend that they should pick up. Um, all these games are like really really cheap. Most of them I got for under ten or under ten pounds, should I say? Um, so yeah, a lot of the games you'll be able to buy in bulk, and um, you have have quite a collection. Um, these aren't all my games, by the way. I do have like a lot more three sixty games, um, but most of them are multi plats so I'm not gonna bother showing those ones because there's no real point. Anyways. So getting straight down the video, um, one of the first recommendations would be the PGRs, absolutely fun racing games. It's very sad to see the bizarre creations have went out of business and uh, you won't be seeing any more of these. I would say these are just as great racing games as Forza and Gran Turismo, they're definitely up there amongst the great racing games. Um, I, it's just really sad to see that there'll be no more of these. Um, it has to always be good companies to go. Um, but yeah, if you like fast, um, sort of like archaic racing games, definitely give them a go. Um, and especially if you are a racing car fan. So next is the Command Conquer games. Now the only reason I'm really recommending these is because there isn't really that many RTS games on the consoles. Um, and if you are like a PC fan or um, you've never really experienced Command Conquer before and you really want to, um, I recommend picking these up. And you can also pick uh, Red Alert 3 up as well on the Xbox 360. Um, it's also on the PlayStation 3 as well. Um, but yeah, these are not the best Command Conquer games in the series. Um, I'm just letting you know that, guys. Um, but they still are pretty good games, and they're definitely better than the fourth one. Um, from what I heard, I didn't want to play that game. Um, huge Command Conquer fan, but I will not go anywhere near four. So, um... You might have played the second and third one on this, but if you have not played the first one and you really want to, it's exclusive to the Xbox, so I would recommend picking it up. I did actually play the other two on uh, the PlayStation 3. I really, really loved the games, um, so I have went back and I bought Saints for 1. I'm really, really enjoying this. It's definitely a lot tougher than the other two games. <laughs> um, it's it's still a great looking game and it's pretty good customization for it. Um, and the story is actually pretty interesting. But if you play played Saints before, you know what to expect out of it. It's nothing really special. Um, it's just like GTA, but I find Saints is a lot more fun to play, to be honest. 
so next we have Dead Rising. Um, most people have probably played Dead Rising 2 or Dead Rising off the record. Um, you want to be Dead Rising for f you on a PC or you on Xbox One, <laughs> which um, why watch this if you on the Xbox One. Um, you can just go back any game at least if you want. Anyways, this is an absolutely great zombie game. This is one of the first games I actually played in the Xbox. Um, it's still really great. It's still really, really fun and really, really challenging. Um, and actually, it is a really good laugh, so it is to play as well. So, yeah. Oh, and it's also available on the Wii, but um, I think the Wii version's not as good as that. Or it has like less zombies on screen um, at once. But, anyways, yeah. So, next we have the Fable games. I don't have Fable Anniversary. These were absolutely great RPGs. Um, to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of the first one back in the day. Um, but I have been to playing two recently, and I really, really love two. Um, it's a really great open world RPG. Um, it's not very difficult, it's just easy enough to just pick up and play. Um, so if you are in the RPGs and you haven't played the Fable games before, go play them. Really fun. So next we have the Forge games. Um, I only have two and three of them out. To be honest, when I heard about these games back in the day, I was just like, <sighs> they're at least sound a bit overrated um, and I don't sound really that interesting. Um, maybe it was because I played like a lot of Grand Turismo and a lot of Need for Speed back in the day and uh, to be honest I don't really play those much anymore but uh, go back and play Forza. I actually really do enjoy these. I still do not like the Rewind feature um, which I know they took off Dirt or Common Query Come crazy or does it? I'm not too sure what was the name of it. Um, but yeah, it has the rewind feature like the dark games. Um, the graphics are pretty nice. The, the games are. The second one's graphics aren't really that anything special, but it is a pretty good racing game. Anyways, the third one does look very good, um, and I still have to play the fourth one. Onwards, which Horizon is actually very expensive where I live. Um, Alan Wake, I've just recently completed this game. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite Xbox games I've ever played. I remember hearing about this back in the day. I, I just used to laugh because, um, from what I was told, none of the Xbox fans actually bought this game. And it's just like a really underrated game, which is kind of sad because it is actually a pretty good game. If you like like horror thriller type games, definitely pick it up. Um, it's not like overly scary or nothing like that, but it does have a really good story to it. So um, next we have Left 4 Dead, which is also on PC, um, along with a second one, which I don't actually have at the minute. These are really, really fun, fast-paced, zombie killing games. I got this the other day, I stuck it on, and within like a couple of seconds, my screen was just absolutely bombarded with the zombies. And I was just like, what the hell? There's so many bumming zombies coming at you at once. Um, to be honest, I didn't really expect it to be like so much zombies on screen. I did play the PC version, which had like a ton of zombies. I thought they were skilled that down for the Xbox being a console game but no they actually did they put tons and tons of zombies on the screen at once um it's really fun trying to survive especially with your friends um i wouldn't recommend playing this game by yourself i would recommend playing it with your friends because it's one of the games we're playing with your friends it's just really 
a better thing to do. Um, but yeah. So next we have Dead or Alive 4. Um, I'm not much of a Dead or Alive fan to be honest. Um, but I picked this up. Um, it's a really, really fun fight game. For the love of God, I cannot combo in this game. Every time I uh, try to play this game, I get my absolute ass handed to me. I gotta play this game more. It's fast paced. Um, has like multiple layers of levels where you just kick them over balconies and they go flying and stairs and uh, and like a new part of the level, which is really really cool. Um, the AI, AI is really good in this game as well. Um, if you do the same move more than once, so kind of direct it, and they'll start fighting differently. And it's really cool the way it does that. It just stops people just constantly spamming, spamming, spamming same move. Um, but yeah, an absolutely fun fighting game. So next we have Quake Four. Um, I've not played much of the Quake games to be honest. Um. But this is an absolutely great Quake game. I think the only real Quake game that I've played is Quake 2, which is also included on this. And uh, Quake 64, I think it was. For Nintendo 64. Um, but yeah, Quake is really, really fast paced. I've not played this online, or this, but it does like seem very slow in the story. It's... I know like Quake's like really fast pace where it's like you grab the weapon, you run up the like after the levels and then bam you get killed, respawn straight away and you're just doing it again and again and again. Um maybe it's different online, I don't know. But it has a story to it as well, which is pretty good. Um I feel like games like this Try on real tournament as well, which is really, really fast paced as well. Um, absolutely great games. So next we have the three Gears of War games. Might as well show them one by one um, because this is a big ass bulky box. Uh, Gears of War One had a great story. If you go back and play this now, the graphics aren't very impressive. It's very dark and it's very brown. Um, but don't let that put you off. It still is a very good game with uh, likeable characters and a good story. Um, yeah. Gears of War 2 is my favourite in the series, to be honest. Um, it improved on the story. Uh, it brought back the same characters, I a couple of new ones, um, it looks a lot, lot better than the first one as well, I'm not really much of a graphics whore, but, yeah, this game looks a lot better if you go back and play it now, um, it still isn't nothing special, but it is, like, less dark and less brown, um, it is more appealing to the eye, to be honest. And more free. Obviously, the game still looks good. Um, a couple of new cast members in this one who are likable. Very, very good story. Um, my second favorite in the actual trilogy, so it is. Um, what can I say? If you have not played any of these games, go play them. They're probably one of the best games that you will ever play. So next is the Halo games, which um, I'm missing as Wars, I believe. But um, yeah, I think that, yeah, I'm missing Wars just. So we'll start off with Halo Anniversary. This is a remaster of Halo 1. I have no idea why they did not put Halo 2 in this as well. I know they did put a Halo 2 later on, which just seemed to be that cash in, to be honest. Um, kind of pissed they actually didn't put it on the 360 as well as the Xbox One, but uh, what can you do? Graphics are a lot better. It's really good because if you haven't experienced Halo 1 before, um, you now can go back and experience the Halo 1. Um, 
story is still really good. Love the music in this game. Um, yeah, great game. So next we have Halo 3. I remember playing this for Peppermint and it's back in the day when he first got his Xbox. Um, we absolutely enjoyed this game. We played the absolute shit out of this and we played the shit out of, um, as I would say, we played the crap out of this game the most of all the games he owned. Um, we did the story, I think, twice in this game. Um, it was absolutely great. I still would say it is the best Halo game of all of them, but that's just my opinion. Next we have ODST. I have not played much of the game to be honest. Um, I have played the multiplayer. I have the few missions in the story mode. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic from what I have played of it. Um, it does seem like really really interesting. I really have to go back and play more of this once I've finished everything else to play on my Xbox. Um, so next we have Halo Reach. Um, this is another game I'm not playing much of. Um, I played quite a bit of the multiplayer. Halo, Halo's multiplayer is probably one of the most fun multiplayer that you will ever play. Um, I absolutely love playing Griff Ball in this. Griff Ball isn't really anything special, but I just find it really, really fun. Um, especially if you're playing with like, friends in it. Uh, it has great maps. Story is pretty decent from what I played from it already. Um, I heard it has like a really good ending, but I've not got that far yet. Um, but yeah. And Halo 4. This is the last game on my recommendations list. Not played this at all. Um, I heard it's not the best in the series, but since it is a Halo game, I would still highly recommend picking it up. I'm sure it has like a fun multiplayer mode. Um, fun multiplayer mode. Fun multiplayer, and uh, uh, probably has like a decent story. And um, graphics looks amazing in this game. This game reminds me a lot of Starhawk, though, from what I've seen of it. Um, well, just the online, mostly, what I've seen. Uh, for some reason, it just reminds me of Starhawk with just axe and all you can get in this. Um, I know that's kind of fun for a uh, comparison. Um, but, but yeah. So, anyways, guys, that is my Xbox 360 Beginners Guide to the Xbox. To the Xbox 360, yeah, it really makes sense. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you see more, please tell me. Um, leave it in the comment section below. Um, if any, is there any games I missed? Um, let me know as well. This is Donato saying, see you next video, guys, and take care.